2019's Pet Cemetery is a remake to Stephen King's 1989 Pet Cemetery, and it is a kinda zombie horror movie. The movie starts off with a family that moves, dad's a doctor, notice a lot of these movies, the dads are doctors, whatever, and they have this cat, unfortunately, they live by this busy road that they kind of point out at the beginning of the movie, well, cat gets murdered, hit by this truck, and it's the little girl's favorite, little girl loved this cat, Church, <clears throat> that was cat's name, well, creepy old neighbors like hey you gotta bury this cat in this pet cemetery that's in your backyard and the dad's like okay let's do this well upon burying the cat the old man's like man I really like that little girl of yours she's real adorable and you know she kind of tugs on my heartstrings. she's a sweetheart I kind of want to do something for you follow me and the dad follows the old dude further past the pet cemetery into this real mysterious, ominous place. They bury the cat, boom, bada bing. Next day, the cat's back. But unfortunately, Church is not the sweet, lovable cat that he used to be. He's now something different, but he's alive. And since the dad is a doctor, he only believes in science and medicine. Realizing that this is neither, he goes to that old man and he's like, Hey, why is my cat alive and evil now? Old man basically tells him that this pet cemetery, well, past the pet cemetery is this little area, something about a wendigo, and basically, if you bury something on this little land, it will come back, but when it does, it comes back kind of messed up. And he was kind of hoping with the cat, though, it would be different as the cat was kind of a sweetheart, and he was just kind of hoping that the cat would come back normal. But unfortunately for everybody, the cat came back evil. So the dad's like, well, we got to get rid of this evil zombie cat. Takes him somewhere, lets him go. It's his daughter's birthday. His daughter is playing around. She sees Church in the road. She's like, oh, I thought Church ran away. Let me go get my cat because, you know, she don't know it's a zombie evil cat. And when she runs into the road, she gets smacked by this tanker on this truck, and she dies. Unfortunately, that leads us to the shenanigan parts of the movie, where the dad's like, he gets the bright idea, which he was warned against by the old man. The old man said, don't do this. He's like, Emmy, dig my daughter up after we bury her, and then drag her corpse to this spot past the pet cemetery and bury her there to revive her. That's this dude's thought process. And he does it. And from there, it's spoilers. So I'll probably talk about the spoilers, a couple of the big spoilers in my review. So if you haven't watched this or the original, um, watch both. Unfortunately, I don't own the original on physical, so I won't be doing the review for it right away. But this is a remake to it, and the original is really good too, even though I may say I like this one a little better. But my review for Pet Cemetery. Well, from the novel to the 1989 version and to the remake, Pet Cemetery is just Golden Girls. This is very, very good horror from the story to the practical effects, to the acting in the new one, because the, the original, some of the acting was a little cheesy, but yeah, just insanely good. Also, I love it when shit goes sideways, and it's like the kids that are evil, which would lead me into the spoiler, so basically, when he resurrects his daughter, she comes back evil just like the cat, and she starts murdering everybody, and this is a really big spoiler. After she murders everybody, she drags their asses into the cemetery and revives them. So now it's one cute little zombie family. Uh, loved it. And I'm kind of just bleeding off my time, so we'll get into recommendation. 
my recommendation for Pet Cemetery is this is highly recommended. I highly recommend watching both, but I may like the remake a little better. Don't, don't shoot the messenger, but I just like it a little better. But yeah, this is highly recommended. But like I said, both are. So enjoy Pet Cemetery.